It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Tuesday, the 7th of July. I'm Michael Graff. We'll be going from the frying pan and into the fire as our current heat wave begins to intensify by this weekend. The potential of record heat will be with us. And the big questions will be how hot is it going to get and how long will it last? Of course, we're still looking for monsoon moisture and the potential of significant rain here in Phoenix, but that doesn't look all that likely anytime soon. Let's get into it first. We'll look at the almanac from yesterday. 111 degrees was our afternoon high, 83 the morning low, the normal high 107, the normal low 83. Outside now here at 1025 a.m., the sun is shining, hardly a cloud to be found as usual. And we're looking at 99 degrees at Sky Harbor, dew points at 47, humidity 17 percent, the winds are light, and the barometer is rising. Looking at temperatures right now, yes, it's already sizzling out there. 89 is the cool spot at Fort McDowell, 92 in Buckeye, 99 in Avondale, 100 at Goodyear, 101 Litchfield, 96 in Arcadia, 103 in Surprise, the warm spot on the board, 105 in South Phoenix. Satellite picture shows absolutely clear skies across the state of Arizona. Hardly a cloud to be found anywhere in the southwestern United States. The watch warning map, those are excessive heat watches in effect for southwest and south central Arizona as well as southeast California. An excessive heat warning for the Mojave Desert up toward Las Vegas, Kingman, the Grand Canyon, and throughout the southwest. And of course, we still have very high fire danger continuing, and that's not going anywhere anytime soon as well with the hot and dry conditions persisting. The convective outlook for today, how about the enhanced risk of severe storms? That's level three out of five for places like Miles City, Glasgow, Billings, Montana, eastward toward Williston and Bismarck, North Dakota. The standard slight risk for many of the adjacent areas. Even the marginal risk goes all the way east to Minneapolis, St. Paul and La Crosse, Wisconsin. All right, precipitation for the next seven days, nothing here in the valley, almost nothing. Statewide, hot and dry conditions will continue. And we'll look at modeling right now and we'll try and find out just how hot it's going to get. Here's the GFS. This is the 12Z run valid at five o'clock this afternoon. The upper look at about 18,000 feet, troughing well to the north of Arizona. Our 591 ridge getting squished just a bit here across the southwest. So down at the surface, sunny skies again today, high temperatures somewhere between about 108 and 111. Tonight, the skies are clear. The air mass is relatively dry, although dew points do spike up to around 50 or so. Overnight lows, upper 70s to mid 80s. Tomorrow, sunny skies, highs pretty close to 110. Same deal on Thursday, mostly sunny, will be near 110. And then Friday, we start to turn on the furnace as our upper ridge builds in from the east. There might just be a little bit of mid-level moisture that moves in here as well, so we'll call it partly sunny, but high temperatures, 110 to 113. Now, here we go to Saturday. Look at those 500 millibar heights. Yes, that's a 600 decameter ridge on the border of New Mexico and Arizona, and that means really hot temperatures for us. High temperatures somewhere between 113 to 116 for both Saturday and Sunday, but there is a fair bit of the guidance that is showing temperatures even warmer than that. The only mitigating factor, again, might be those high clouds, that mid and upper level moisture that moves through here from time to time. But let me show you, this is the European Sunday afternoon. It's got a high temperature of 120 degrees here in Phoenix. And I'm not sure it gets that hot, but that's kind of the about the 95th percentile of all the guidance that's coming in. So we could be looking at a very dangerous heat wave, perhaps getting up into the top 10 all time in terms of hot temperatures. In fact, 120 degrees would tie for the third hottest temperature ever observed in Phoenix. Now, as we move to Monday, the heat will continue, but the upper heights coming down just a bit. And so temperatures will fall off ever so slightly, but whatever, it's still going to be hot. Highs 111 to 114. A subtle increase in moisture means isolated thunderstorms possible across the northern part of the state. But again, they would be very isolated with the ridge so intense and so close by. I just don't expect that we'd see any widespread coverage of storms anytime soon. Here's a week from today. This is Tuesday, the 14th. 597 Ridge still centered over New Mexico or eastern Arizona. A south-southeasterly flow developing, and again, a slow increase in moisture may take place. Isolated thunderstorms over the higher terrain, but in the valley, it's still hot. Highs at or above 110. 
And going out 10 days to the end of the forecast period, this is Thursday the 16th, a 594 ridge continues here over the southwest. Not exactly in the perfect configuration to bring monsoon moisture in here. I would say a slow increase is still likely, though, with widely scattered thunderstorms over the higher terrain, but doesn't look all that likely we'll see anything here in Phoenix. Okay, temperatures first off the national blend of models, 111 for tomorrow and Thursday, and then it's got us picking up to around 115 by the weekend. Here are the temperatures coming off of the deterministic European, the operational run of the European. And yeah, it's got us at 120 degrees on Sunday and Monday. Again, this might be a little too hot, but I would not be surprised if we saw one or two days where we get up toward 117, maybe 118. Really depends on how much high cloudiness we see over the weekend. All right, that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. Remember, I'm just the messenger here, okay? My next video back here tomorrow morning. If you enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share, and click that notification bell so that whenever we post a brand new video, you'll be alerted. Your comments, questions, and suggestions always encouraged as well. Thank you so much for watching. Be safe out there. Stay cool. Drink plenty of water. Watch your kids around the swimming pool, and you guys have yourselves a great Tuesday.